All right, now to get this bread, guys. It's, it's time to to get this gondola skip bread. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode... What episode is this? 4, 5, 12, 17? I don't know anymore. Frick it. We're just going to do gondola skip. Let's do it. All right. First thing you want to do, right? There's a couple steps to this. Trip. Step one. You want to line yourself up. You want to line yourself up with this little corner right here. It's kind of hard to tell, but the, uh... There's like this little... Pog champ for say my name right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> first thing, first step, right? There's this little, like, uh... Okay, so... The platform kind of goes like... It kind of meets up at like a corner. And you want to jump off of that corner. It's it's kind of a, a subtle corner. Like, it's it's not that easy to tell where it is. But it's about right here. Right? This is about where you want to jump off of. So, you see, as I'm coming to the gondola, I'll turn my camera. Or I'll move my analog stick to the right some. And then I'll jump off of this corner. Right? So, the, the key to gondola skip is to space out your jumps. That's, like, the biggest step in all this. Right? So, you want to... You want to space out your jumps, but not lose, not go under your initial height, right? So you don't want to go, like, say if this is uh, Y equals 100 on height, right? You don't want to go below that during your two jumps. You don't want to go below Y equals 100, right? So you want to space them out like so. Except don't try and kill yourself when you jump. Right, so your first jump is just a normal one, right? And then on the second jump, Flut Flut starts to flap its wings, right? And usually when you hear the like the third or fourth flap is when you're okay to ground pound, right? So you hear me jump, and then you hear those wings, right? On like the third or fourth flap, doesn't matter which one, uh, that's when you can start the ground pound. So this is kind of a lot of steps. Um, but I'll, I'll show you. I'll show them uh, in practice pretty soon. Um, so yeah, that's that's step two, right? You want to space out your two jumps, and on the third or fourth flap, you want to start to ground down, right? Step three, you want to move your left analog stick to the left. You want to go hard left, right? And then you want to move your camera, or you want to move the right analog stick to the right, so they're just gonna they're just kind of separate like that. after the ground pad, right? And that's gonna look, that's gonna point your camera towards the uh, the minor cave. So let me actually show you these steps in motion. This should actually get you like straight into the minor cave. Um, no, no problem. Okay, so you wanna jump at this corner, right? Notice how I space out the jumps. Okay, I'm not even getting into minor cave right now. But you wanna, enter about right here in this little rock and then you'll you should just dive straight into the cave uh it's gonna take some setup to get back <clears throat> but you just want to go through that specific rock honestly you there's two different actually places you can go hold on let me show you both both of that are that are pretty reliable okay so you're gonna be looking at this area right here right this is where you want to end up. Um, I personally like to go through this rock right here. Some people like to go through like over this rock and kind of like hold back on the stick to land in the cave, right? Either way is fine. Just whatever works for you. But I, I love I love going through here because I can just hold forward the whole time when I go through this rock, and I'll always land inside the cave, and I will never ever overshoot it. So couple steps let's review our steps step one jump off of this little corner thing right step two space out your jumps your second jump in particular you should hear three or four flaps and then step three you want to move both sticks the left stick goes left the right stick goes right <laughs> and then step four angle yourself so you go through this rock or over this. 
and that's pretty much it i'll show you it one more time <clears throat> hopefully i'll do it right <laughs> i should be able to but usually when i do tutorial stuff and explain it while i'm doing it, it doesn't go very well <laughs> Hello, people. Hold on. I, I, I will address you as soon as this is over. <laughs> One more time. Alright, usually you'll come from uh, down here. Right through this rock. Land in the cave. Easy peasy, right? Alright, that's all for this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions. And I'll see you next time.